10 things you should know about WizKid in 2018. Click subscribe, Africa Social TV, then it's the business right here. Now, Ayodeji Ibrahim Balogun, whose stage name is WizKid, is one of the fastest rising uh, Nigerian music artists. WizKid, having so many contributed uh, of the reputable awards winning in his music career, has led him to a great reach in his profession. Being perfect about his name, there are still a lot more uncovered flashes we will talk about right here at Africa Social TV about the big star, Whiskid. To start with, at number one, he started his music career at a tender age. Whiskid started his music career at a tender age where he started singing for his local church. Not only a young graded musician, but also a talented superstar who sang for his church. He actually was the present worship singer at his local church in Lagos, having been brought up in a Christian family. 2. Wizkid was born on 16th July 1990 in Surale, a residential and commercial area of Lagos. He grew up in an in interfaith household with 12 female siblings. His mother is a Pentecostal Christian and his father practices Islam. In a 2012 radio interview with the media, he said that his father has three wives. During his upbringing, he listened to songs recorded by King Sunny Ade, Fela Kuti, and Bob Mali. Whiskid has a son, Bulawatife Balogan, given birth to, 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 to him in 2010. Whiskid's baby mama, Olwaneshola Ogudugu, studied at Hojebe North American University, Kotuno. The genesis of her affair with Whiskid was after he performed at the school, which resulted in a child. Number four, Whiskid was a student at Ijebu. Ode Grammar School, Ogun State, and dropped out of Leeds City University in 2011 into his third year where he was studying international relationships. Call it IR. At f number five, we have Whiskey's first international collaboration, which was with Ekon on Dono Dal, the remix. In Feb 2014, Wizkid became the first ever Nigerian musician to have over 1 million followers on Twitter. At number 6, Wizkid began recording his debut studio album, Superstar, in 2009. On 2nd January 2010, he released Holla at Your Boy as the album's lead single. The song earned him the netted rating, netted rating, uh, netted rating, next rated award at the head is 2011, I beg your pardon, and was nominated for Best Pop Single at the aforementioned awards show. The music video for Holla at Your Boy was nominated for Most Gifted Newcomer Video at the 2011 Chan Lo Music Video Awards. 7. Whiskey released Tease Me slash Bad Guys as the album's second single. The song was initially released as a freestyle. Don't Dull, the album's third single, was released on 6th December 2010. At number 8, we have Wizkid, who hosted an album, album launch party at the Expo Hall of the Echo Hotel and Suits. The album's launch party featured performances from Bunky W, Scales, Two Face Edibia, Sam Clef, One De Cole, The Prince, Olamide, LD, Jesse Jags, Ice Prince, Lynx, and Seishay. Superstar garnered Best Album of the Year at the 2012 Nigeria Entertainment Awards and was nominated for Album of the Year at the Hades 2012. Now, we let's get to number 9, where Wizkid worked with acclaimed producers even before his stardom. From his humble beginning, Wizkid has been lucky enough to have crossed paths with celebrated artists. Some of the figures include Two-Face Edibia, Neta C, Sound Sultan, award-winning producer OJB, among others. And number 10, finally, Wizkid is quite outspoken. Despite his young age, Wizkid is never far from controversies or public outspots. Often, there is word about him misbehaving or having beef with other musicians. Now, well, there you have it. At least 10 things you didn't know about Wizkid right here at Africa Social TV where you have to click subscribe. My name is Dennis The Business.